Yo, what is up guys? I'm Chef Vapor and welcome back to the channel for another video. Um, today we have a lot, a lot, a lot of things to talk about so I'm going to try and cram most of it into one segment, kind of put the other segment towards the end because it is a very important thing that I want to talk about today. So, um, we're just going to dive right into it. First things first, um, I believe on the last video that I published, I told you guys that I was vaping Yummy Gum. We did a review on that, and then I told you I was going to be vaping the other Naked Candy flavors. Well, I have vaped all of the Naked Candy flavors um, off camera, um, so I'm sorry that I didn't bring those to you, but they are all very good. So rest assured, they all are really good. Yummy Gum, we did a review on that. It's like a bazooka bubble gum. Really, really good. Sour Sweet, it is very good. It's supposed to be like a green Sour Patch Kid. I don't get so much of the sour, it's more like a green uh, gumdrop or a lime wedge candy, something like that. But it is very good nonetheless, probably one of the better candy gummy flavors that I've ever had. Um, <clears throat> then we have Berry Belts. Berry Belts is probably my absolute favorite out of that line. It's just a nice berry popping, it blends very well, but it doesn't get old on the palate. A little bit of sugar, a little bit of sour in there. Phenomenally done. Um, then I also vape something called Dirty Grape. Um, it's a lemon lime grape flavored soda. Um, it's like Dirty Sprite, but it's grape flavored. Um, they also have a orange flavor, a blue raspberry flavor, and there might be another one out there. Um, but I personally vape the grape one, and that grape one is probably one of the best grape flavors that I have ever vaped, honestly. Most grape flavors when it comes to e-juice are pretty dark, a little bit... Um, for lack of a better word, dirty. They're just drawn down and a little bit medicine tasting. Um, this one, because of that lemon lime soda, that Sprite in there, it really it really amps it up and uh, it's a really good flavor. Definitely check it out if you're looking for a great flavor, especially an all day great flavor. Um, and then I also vape Bomb Sauce's Cereal Cake. Um, cereal Cake is a phenomenal flavor as well. In my personal opinion, it is Bomb Sauce's absolute best flavor. Um, Bomb Sauce is best known for their Alien Piss, the Alien Piss 2 line, and their AK-47 line. Um, I've vaped all of those. They are all pretty decent, but when it comes to, when it comes to cereal cake, it, it takes the cake. No pun intended. It is a phenomenal juice. It really is. Um, it's like a vanilla cheesecake with a little bit of a buttery graham cracker crust, and then you get some tricks or Fruit Loops on top of there. It, it's a phenomenal flavor. Um, so that, that knocks out the last week or so's worth of e-juice that um, I wanted to make videos for. In fact, I did make videos, I just didn't get around to editing them and publishing them. So I just deleted them and I'm condensing it into one video for you guys. Um, the next thing I want to talk about really quick is the TFB12's coil. It, this one is the T6. Um, it is not a bad coil, it's really not. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, is it the T12? No, absolutely not. But it does have good flavor. I think it has better flavor than the 4s. And it has way better better um, vapor production than the 4s. And it goes up higher wattage, obviously. So um, right now, it's rated to like 180, 190 best. It goes up to like 320, I think, in total. Something like that. Right now, I'm running it at 157, just under 160. Um, I like my vape right there. It is a .17 coil, so I have the G-Priv reading it at exactly .17. Um, and it's a really, it's a really nice coil. I like it a lot. Um, but we're not, we're not going to talk about coils any longer. We're going to talk about something, the big important thing, at least important to me. So, these guys, this juice that I'm going to show you is called Hometown Heroes. Now, a lot of you might be familiar with it, a lot of you might not. They've been around for a minute. Um, but Hometown Heroes is out of Texas, um, Austin, I believe to be specific, um, and they're a phenomenal thing. Um, so I'm going to show you these right here really quick. You can go ahead and pause the video right here if you want to go ahead and read a little bit more on these flavors specifically. And there we go. And then they also have really, really, really dope artwork. Every single bottle has artwork just like this. This one specifically is taken from Why So Cereal. Um, phenomenal brand. They really are. Um, this juice is actually really, really good, um, and we're going to go over that in a second, but I'm going to tell you something else more important. Um, Hometown Heroes, from my knowledge, was founded by a couple of veterans. Um, 
So 1% of all proceeds go to the artists that make this really, really dope art. It's like a graffiti style. Basically what they're doing is they're giving graffiti artists a safe place to work and they don't have to worry about being on the street and the law and stuff like that. And then they benefit from it as well because all of their profits, 1% of them, goes to all of these artists that make the dope artwork. Um, and it's a phenomenal thing, it really is. Um, I have another one back here. This is, um, I know, sorry about the glare, but this is their flavor, Angel Tears. Um, that is their logo for that. So it, it's a phenomenal thing, it really is. Um, but regardless of that, they also take 1% of their profits and donate it to help veterans. Um, so that that's a phenomenal thing as well. Um, the veteran thing is a very, very dear thing to me, um, and I don't think veterans get treated nearly as well as they should. Um, but that's a different topic for a different video on a different channel. So we're not going to get too more into that. Um, but we are going to talk about these flavors a little bit. Um, Hometown Heroes, they have a total of, I think, nine flavors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I was way off. <laughs> um, so I haven't vaped them all, as you're probably guessing. Um, but I have vaped a good handful of them, so I'm going to talk about those. Um, so if you didn't pause the video, I'm just going to read them off to you really quick. Ambrosia, it's a ripe citrus, sweet melon, and plump berries. Angel Tears is a luscious watermelon, fresh berries, and coconut. It's like a tiger's blood snow cone. Angel's Breath is a frozen version of Angel Tears, which I am vaping right now, so we'll get into that. Holy Fritter is apples on apples and some cake for good measure. It's like an apple fritter. Legend is banana rum to feed your inner pirate. Red Dream is award-winning kettle corn drizzled with strawberry and cream. That's one of their best-selling flavors. I personally haven't tried it yet. Rice Krispie Treats. Thick and delicious Rice Krispies with marshmallows. It smells phenomenal. I haven't tried that yet. Stormy, a refreshing, a refreshingly crisp cucumber citrus with a, tris, uh, with a twist. And that, I have tried that. I do like that one a lot. Cucumber is a phenomenal thing for me to vape. I love cucumbers. So. Um, Sun Drops, a splash of summer blended with passion fruit and sweet tea. That is a really good juice. Wild Buffalo, old-fashioned craft root beer with a vanilla bean ice cream. My favorite flavor. It's phenomenal. Why So Cereal, Raspberry Crunch Cereal, blended, extracted, and bottled. And then finally, Witch Doctor, the tobacco vape you'll actually love, even if you hate tobacco. Now, that was a very, very, very bold statement for that final juice. A tobacco vape that you'll love, even if you hate tobacco. Um, and I didn't believe it, because I don't like tobacco vapes. So I got it. And I'm vaping Witch Doctor. And as you can see, I vaped about half the bottle. I like it a lot. Um, it's, uh, you know, back in the day before I started vaping, I smoked cigarettes. I smoked cigarettes for a very long time. And I also smoked pipe tobacco for probably two or three years. Um, it, 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 this is really, really well blended. Um, it's not harsh. It's not, it's not too pungent. Um, it's a nice, sweet Cavendish blend with a milk chocolate background. Um, nice sweet you get a little bit of that chocolate playing in there um not only is it probably the best tobacco flavor that i've ever vaped it is also probably the best chocolate flavor that i've ever vaped because it's not super chocolatey um they just blend it really really well and for some reason that chocolate plays so well with that tobacco um it's something that you guys are just gonna have to take my word for and try even if you don't like tobacco like i honestly think you'll like it because i don't like tobacco vapes and i love this juice um Stormy, Stormy, like we said, that was a really good one. I have vaped that one. Like cucumber, citrus, um, it is very, very good. Um, very refreshing, very light, very bubbly. Good all-day vape. Um, let's see here. What else have I vaped? Uh, Wild Buffalo. Wild Buffalo is the root beer uh, float. That is a phenomenal flavor. If you even at the least little bit like root beer, you will love that flavor. It is the, hands down, the best root beer flavor that I've ever vaped. Um, probably the rest, I mean, obviously it's the best root beer float because I don't think I've had one of those. Um, but it is the best root beer flavor that I've ever vaped. Um, very, very, very good. Um, Sun Drops is a passion fruit sweet tea. Phenomenal. Um, sweet tea is a very hard thing to play with, especially, um, I mean, it's just like root beer or tobacco. They're very, very challenging juices and flavors to work with and make a good juice out of. And they did it very, very well. The sweet tea, it's not too strong. It's not too tea-like. Um, it does have a little bit of sweetness, but it's not overbearing. 
and then you get that little passion fruit that just kind of wakes everything up. It's a phenomenal juice. Um, and then we have, let's see, um, Angel's Breath. Angel's Breath is what I'm vaping right now. Um, it is a frozen version of Angel Tears, which is watermelon, berries, and coconut. It's a Tiger's Blood Snow Cone. Um, so this is a frozen version of Tiger's Blood Snow Cone. Um, frozen meaning like uh, culotta and menthol. Um, so I'm going to hit this really quick. Very good, very refreshing. Um, the menthol is not too much. There's more culotta than there is menthol. They just kind of threw a little bit of menthol in there, like a very, very, very minute amount. Um, it works very well with that. Watermelon, it's a nice, ripe watermelon. Um, it's not super sweet. It's just kind of there, kind of like the snow cone base. Um, the berries, I can't really tell for sure what berries. It's just a little bit of a brightening up. I would guess strawberry and probably blueberry. Um, they're not very strong, like I said. They're just kind of accents, kind of complement that watermelon. And then the coconut. The coconut comes out when you hold your bait for a second. If you just... You're going to get more of a watermelon berry and a little tiny bit of coconut. If you can tell yourself it's there. But if you hold it for a second... And then exhale, that coconut really, really develops on the palate. You get a nice, like, shaved coconut just right on top. Just a nice little shave. Uh, it's a phenomenal blend. It really is. Um, all of these juices that I have tried are phenomenal. I'm very excited to try the ones that I have not tried yet. Um, I'm, just, I'm just super excited. Um, Red Dream, like I said, is their most popular flavor, or one of their most popular flavors. So I'll probably pick it up before the day's over because... This I got yesterday, and it's already almost halfway gone. This I got two days ago, and I swapped off of it to try this. So I've got a lot of juice to vape. Um, I also have a couple of bottles at home yet, too. Um, but I'm probably going to pick up Red Dream today and just go ahead and vape it. And um, I'll make a review on that one since it's so popular, and I'll let you guys know what I personally think about it. Um, out of all the flavors, I think my, my favorite one is absolutely Wild Buffalo. That root beer flow is phenomenal. It's to die for so well executed um second favorite is honestly i think it's witch doctor i haven't tried them all like i said yet um stormy's really good angel's breath is really good sun drops really good but witch doctor that that execution that talent that they show with that milk chocolate and that tobacco is a phenomenal thing i'm so impressed i'm so happy to tell you guys it's cheap it goes to a good cause it's got dope artwork and it's good flavors um also i forgot to mention that most people are selling these 50 mil bottles. Most shops are selling these guys for 15 bucks. Um, so they're a really good deal and they support a really good cause. So I'm going to blow some clouds, show you the cloud ratio off of these guys. I'm also going to show you the cloud ratio off of this T6 and then we're going to end it. I'm, I'm sorry that this video is long. Forgive me. It'll get better. I just had a lot to talk about. Like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any more of my videos. I try to upload about once a week. There she blows. Thank you so much, guys. And keep on vaping.